So this dealership is here in Lakeland, Florida, and they're actually doing so well with Sprinter business that they're expanding their, their mechanics garage just for Sprinter vans. In fact, out of the eight Mercedes dealerships that I contacted in Florida, only three of them worked on Sprinter vans and two of them were booked out over a month in advance. Fields Motor Cars Mercedes here in Lakeland got me in the following Monday. So that's good news. I like hearing that. People know what they're doing. We hope, right? For 200 some dollars an hour, you hope they know what they're doing. I spoke with the general manager here and he let me know they have four or five of these vans. I forget what he told me that are for roadside assistance that'll go out mobile mechanics is what they are had a good talk with the general manager here so hopefully maybe we can do some business because they got some vans here and to be honest with you what i paid for mine is about what they're going going for right now fifty thousand dollars oh that one must be cheaper anyways I'll keep y'all posted. About half a mile from that Mercedes dealership, we went on a little walk and they got this, uh, this dog park. Lake Crago. Let this guy run around and be a dog for a little bit. Now for a while, a lot of these dealerships, not only Mercedes, but all dealerships, even today, some of them are they're adding premiums on top of their sticker prices. And for a while, you go to a dealership, look at a Sprinter van tag, it says, you know, 56,000 or whatever it may be. But then you go check out and there's all these fees added on top, it comes out to, you know, 60, 70, sometimes 80,000 for a while there, um, you know, a few months back. But now they can't keep doing that because what they're gonna do is not sell any vehicles. So they had to drop the prices and not add that extra fee they were adding on. Uh, so let's go take a look at some vans and see what they're running right now. They got quite a few over here. Let's take a look at this one right here. Looks like a 170. They don't have any extendeds. Those are very hard to find. They're out there, but they're like unicorns. This looks like a 2500, 170 gasoline, 2023. That's not bad. I'm sure there's some wiggle room there. They need to sell these things bad. Here's another 170. This is a dually. This one is probably a 3500. No, a 45. Oh, wow. I've actually never seen a 4500. That's the price on that one right there for you. 4,500. That's a big boy. I wanna see what they're doing this box truck here for. What do you guys think? 3,500 XD, 170, wow. That's a good buy. The inside's pretty much the same. Wow, that's a good buy right there. Oh, here you go. There, there you go, that's the actual price. They added a commercial 16 foot box truck with a roll up door. So this is just for literally this front portion of the van and the bottom chassis but it's not for the actual box. They added the box, looks like another 21 grand. And that takes me out of the running for this one. No way. I was gonna say, if that box truck was $46,000, we're gonna have to talk about that one, but unfortunately it's not. You know, uh, let's check these out. But that's what you're paying for right there without the box on the back we were just talking about. Pretty cool, you can see the underworkings and all that. Transmission. <laughs> so that's what you're paying for for $46,000 right there. 
and this one's 54. I mean, they're still expensive, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying they're cheap, but the prices are coming down. This one's 54. Another gasoline. This is definitely a 170, all wheel drive. This is sitting high too. That's 79 right out the door. I wonder what four cylinder HO means. I look that up. Okay, so it looks like you need a new battery. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking they're trying to pull a fast one on me, upsell me, or take advantage of me here like most dealerships. But in all reality, my van has been telling me to pull over and leave my engine running for about a month now. And that's Mercedes' way of telling you that your battery is not holding charge like it should. So, I do need a new battery. A new battery? Okay. $510. With insulation? Yes. Or, okay. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Um, now, Can I ask you a question about that? Sure. Can I keep my old, old battery? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, and we believe the knocking noise is a software update to and um, for the transmission shift adaptation. So when I noticed this problem with my van, I made a video about it and I posted it. And a lot of you guys commented with your responses on what you thought it was. Some of you guys thought it was motor mounts. Uh, some people thought it was a transmission mount. I thought it was that too. But actually, it turned out to be the torque converter. And a few of y'all did say that. So shout out to you if you did. We were prompted to perform a software update and adaptation as per Mercedes with that knocking noise. Okay. So that's, that's good news. That's really good news. It's 465 So I know it's money. I can you know, give you a loyalty discount. Okay. Like 100 bucks off of it for you. Um, but so this fixes it, you're in good shape. Yeah, so we'll see. So what's the, my total right now today? You're looking at probably around $1,100. Okay, mm -hmm. all together? Yeah. The other stuff is through Mercedes. So that's battery and that's uh, that. And the software update okay. the transmission. So. Right, right. So when when is that going to be in? Okay. And as you heard there, there's a recall on my fuel delivery module, which they got to order that and I got to come back for that. All right, Bubba, we're all paid up. We ready to go? So we'd usually be doing it already because I went up and down on that uh, overpass there but it is still doing it. It's just not as frequently, which lets me know that whatever they did today with the torque converter, it did help. Let's try to make it. It's very, it, it does it, but it's subtle. It's very subtle. It's not like it was before. See, it's not doing it now. So, uh, as you can see, Bubba's not affected by it. Usually his head would be bumping around because uh, when it did that, it would shake the whole front console of the van, you know? So, so far so good, Mercedes, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, maybe when I go back, we can tweak that up. That little, it's still there. Whatever it is, it's still there. I'll get it captured on video eventually, but let's see. Try one more time. Yeah, very subtle. You, you, you can't even hear it. But if it gets worse, I'll let you guys know. So far, so good. <laughs> 